the Chinese military, it seems. The PLA faces no cash crunch. It has no intention of stopping its activities around Taiwan. Our world order is undergoing big changes, and they're not necessarily for the better. Our world is becoming more dangerous. Two powers are in a race, the United States and China, and they're ramping up their weapons. Is China's nuclear expansion a warning to the US? The growing concerns over China's nuclear expansion and what it means for the United States has been making headlines lately and has caused a lot of controversy in the geopolitical world. So if you want to stay informed and up to date on this issue, make sure to watch this till the end. But before we dive into the details, I'd like to ask increased its military modernization efforts, and the nuclear buildup is one of the most significant steps taken in this regard. According to experts, this move could have far-reaching implications for global security and nuclear planning. Although China's current nuclear stockpile is small when compared to the United States and Russia, it is growing fast. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, SIPRI, 
estimates that China has around 350 nuclear warheads. However, the Pentagon has predicted that China could have 1,500 warheads by 2035, which is a significant increase in its nuclear capabilities. The expansion involves not only ramping up the production of warheads, but also upgrading its ability to deliver them with a nuclear triad, missiles, aircraft, and submarines. China is rapidly building launch facilities for intercontinental ballistic missiles, with more than 300 silos in total, according to the Pentagon's estimate. China has been content to maintain a comparatively modest nuclear arsenal since its first nuclear test in 1964. However, in recent years, under President Xi Jinping's leadership, it has begun a massive military modernization drive to upgrade its nuclear weapons. This move is intended not only to deter foes, but also to counterattack if deterrence fails. China's nuclear expansion has raised concerns among experts in the U.S. military, which considers it a warning sign. Gregory Kulaki, China project manager at the Union of Concerned Scientists, said that Chinese strategists have been anxious about the possibility that the U.S. could execute a disarming first strike against Beijing's nuclear forces. The nuclear buildup is likely in part to ensure that the U.S. cannot eliminate China's nuclear deterrent. This move may also have implications for nuclear planning and stability everywhere. The expansion of China's nuclear arsenal will turn China from a state that has a nuclear retaliatory capability to one that is the world's third major nuclear power. According to Eric Hagenbotham, principal research scientist at MIT Center for International Studies, the United States and other nuclear powers will now have to consider not one potential nuclear competitor, but two, which could have significant implications for global security. Experts say that this move could embolden China, particularly over self-ruled Taiwan or in the disputed South China Sea. Beijing has ramped up pressure on Taiwan in recent years and has recently conducted two major rounds of military exercises around the island. China may believe that a larger nuclear force will moderate the amount of risk the United States is willing to tolerate in a limited conventional conflict. There are also obstacles to China's rapid buildup of its atomic stockpile, primarily its limited means to produce the fissile materials needed for warheads. However, Russia could offer a helping hand to China in this regard. Beijing and Moscow pledged to step up nuclear cooperation at the recent summit between Xi and Putin, and top atomic energy officials from Russia agreed to assist China in completing fast reactors that can generate fissile material at a much faster rate than they consume it. In conclusion, China's nuclear expansion is a matter of concern for the United States and the world at large. This move could embolden China and have significant implications for global security and nuclear planning. It remains to be seen how the United States and other nuclear powers will respond to this development. We welcome your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more geopolitics content like this. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.